Uh, Reginald Butcher works for the Underground Electric Rail Company. He could be familiar with the layout of sewers from where the bank was robbed. Yes, he could have. That is, yes. Uh, Reginald Butcher has problems at work due to the time off he has taken to visit serious ill door. Yes. Okay. Uh, Reginald Butcher is not a criminal. He has a beloved daughter who is ill and needs her father. He would not risk becoming involved with bandits. Hopelessness. Reginald Butcher needs urgent medical care for his daughter. Because of this, he contacted the Resco gang and helped them rob the bank. Oh no, curse does you clip that. Oh no, now we have, now we have, now we have evidence. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he cares about his daughter really much and he needs the money. So I would guess that eventually he's going hopeless and, and I think he was so worried that he saw what was happening. He didn't want to talk to I just huh. I want to believe that he's not a criminal but he knows what to do and well I don't think he contacted the gang but the gang might have contacted him maybe I'm going with this for now I think I have to <gasps> bye 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 what kind of car does an electrician drive a Volkswagen oh my goodness Um, complex trap. Reginald Butcher knows how to work with electricity because of his job, but that doesn't mean that he would be capable of creating a deadly electrical trap. Reginald Butcher knows how to work with electricity in his job. He would have been able to trap the cab and activate the device. Oh. Yes. Oh, Mr. Butcher is a murderer. Well, what could have happened? What could have happened? What? Stone Mel wasn't in today either? Was her. What? It is suspicious, Diluta. Um, I suggest you open an investigation right now. Right now. Hey, Fire Sound Man! Hello! <laughs> um, so, what I was thinking was that this guy. He has this very sick daughter. He wants to take care of her and needs to get her to a hospital in Stockholm where they can treat her. But he needs money for that. He doesn't have money. Um, or doesn't have that kind of money. So he robs a bank or helps to rob a bank. But he feels very, very guilty about it and then decides to murder the um, people involved. That could very well be. The bank owners were robbed by the rescue gang. It is the bank where Thomas Garrett has a large debt. Yes. <laughs> I have to talk to the. Oh, sorry. I have to talk to the other ones though. Not sure about butcher though, but we will see. I I I got the guy. I found him. I just get some steak for your eye or something, because this looks terrible. Do we have anything here? I mean, there's no bodies we need to look at, right? Oh, you know what? I started watching Fringe again because of uh, everyone playing um, Horizon Zero Dawn, and that guy, that that Silas, Silence is also in Fringe. I needed to see it again. Watching Cringe? No, not Cringe. Fringe. Hey, Norcon. 
Okay, I'm gonna talk to you. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I'm Benjamin Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Smart. Oh, but I saw nothing. I swear. Let me go. Hey, CKC. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch cringe. No. Oh, do you see that? That, he was a former member. Oh, that doesn't bode well for you. Then again, you are a changed man. Uh, yellow nails. It's his right hand, so I would guess he's a smoker. Oh, yeah, because he had... Yes, he's a smoker. Yes. I think that's it. Woo! Okay, cool. Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square statue. I worked for the council. I swear it. I believe you. Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it, I swear. But your tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um, uh, no. It, it was a long time ago. I already forgot. I swear it. Oh. I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. Don't bring your dogs and cats into this. Uh, hey, Primus. Prisoner Snakey, thank you for the host. Thank you. Do you ever work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lampposts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. I know nothing. I swear... Yes, you swear it. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's our guy. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> oh, boy. You are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No Why one has been charged. Do you sound Jamaican? Yet. <coughs> <coughs> Why do you sound Jamaican? Hello. All right, man. <gasps> Jamos! I said hello. Gifting us up to Prisoner Snakey. That is absolutely sweet of you. Thank you. Prisoner Snakey, enjoy your emotes. Let me look at your face. You don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Look at his face. What is that? He is ill? He's afraid? Oh no, he is ill. That and a coughing. What is... What? 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 What is this? A badge. Anarchist? Oh, right. Well then. Here aren't you a sweetie? Long clothes, he's poor. I would guess so. Black sputum? Uh, silicosis, what is that? Oh, I have to... Sh sh hold on. I need to brush up on all my medical stuff. Hold on. What is... What is silicosis? What is that? Silicosis. Radiology, what? Silicosis. What is that? It's a form of occupational lung disease caused by inhalation of crystalline silica dust. Oh, you were digging somewhere. <laughs> now you are suspicious. <laughs> oh, hello. 
Electrical burn. Domestic injury? Doubtful. Okay. Anything else? I think we're good. Hi, I don't trust you at all. Can we make it so that every time Pi speaks there is a stare notification? <laughs> no, because he doesn't make jokes all the time. <laughs> okay. Oh, this sweetie. She's a redhead though though. So she'll pull through this like a champ. I'm I'm sure of it. I mean, redheads. Whoo! They'll do anything. Yes, they're, they're fighters. Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes, I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why what? did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep. There were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. Instead, you were standing against a wall, being... Well, what's the right word for this? A meanie. Let's just, let's just call it that. I have other words in mind, but... You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <coughs> no, it's not. <coughs> Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Ah, well observed. Yes, I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire London district. You were a miner, then? Since the age of 13, yes. At the Newcastle Mines. Fifteen years of hell. Those were bloody times. But now it's over. I don't want to die in those holes like my father and my brothers did. In order to line the pockets of the rich. <laughs> Calm down, please. Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? Are you a mind reader? Yep. <coughs> yep. There are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Bye, Oxoy. Yes. I'll teach electrics to Happy my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. <laughs> I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. Who is calling you dumb, dude? Nobody's calling you dumb. Hold on now. Nobody said that. Okay. Uh, what else? Is there anything... Examine the belongings of the victims and the suspects. I thought I did that. I guess there's more. Mm. What do you want to eat? You want a wrap with bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And a little bit of mayonnaise. That's what you want. already saw this and now I want that <laughs> yeah is it is it is it black lung disease is it that a dolly burger oh <gasps> blood wolf hi um did we had everything did we miss anything I guess we are missing this. Yeah, we're missing something with this. We didn't check the a book. book. Karl Heinzen's 1848 De Maud. Oh, the with bookmark. A bookmark. The bookmark. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. If you have to blow up half a continent and create a bloodbath in order to destroy the barbarians party, you can be deemed to possess neither scruples nor conscience. Anyone who would not happily sacrifice his own life for the honor of exterminating a million barbarians is not a true Republican. I agree, such clear sightedness. I guess he wrote that with that. Why is this creepy? No. What? Hey, Prelium. Hi. Hey, Slivegans. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. But, um, if you have to blow up half a continent and create a bloodbath in order to destroy the barbarians party, you can be deemed to possess neither scruples nor conscience. Anyone who would not happily sacrifice his own life for 
the honor of exterminating him. This is a bit... Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... I guess that was it then. Boop. Um... Opposed to state capitalism and marked market relations, but Thomas Garris is in debt to the bank. Just an anarchist is not anarchist ideology to rob a bank they prefer to destroy. I'm not really into anarchy, so I don't know what that. I, I don't know. Anarchist and bandits. Thomas Garrett al allied himself with the Resco gang in order to take vengeance on the Bank of England. I would guess that is incorrect <laughs> or incorrect <laughs> well i'm going for it I'm, I'm going with that for now um benjamin power sometimes worked with electricity but he's not a specialist it was doubtful that he would know how to create such a deadly trap benjamin power has sufficient knowledge to report no 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 He's not a specialist. He's, he's not the one that did this. I don't think so. Benjamin Fowler is connected with the Resco gang. He has gangster too, but has made an attempt to remove it. Yes. Benjamin Fowler was once a member of the Resco gang, but that is all now in the past. Benjamin... Or uh, always a criminal bandits like Benjamin Fowler never changed. His work for the town might be go, uh, might be to cover for his crimes. Oh no! I still don't think he did it. No, I don't think so. I think that um, that guy isn't involved. The other one uh, s spitting out the black stuff that he is um, involved with that crime. And that the other guy is the murderer because, well, he needed the money and he got, he got a conscience or something like that. <laughs> I'm doing it all wrong, apparently. Okay. The electrical, electrical trap. For the technical cap was arranged by a professional. Thomas Garrett would not have had sufficient knowledge. If Thomas Garrett teaches electricity, he would have sufficient knowledge. He teaches it? I doubt it made it though. What if there was a pizza dispute? There wasn't. Sorry, nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, guys, what do you think? What do you think? Who did it? Who did it? Who did the thing? So this is the anarchist. Uh, coughing up the black stuff. This is the dad of the um, sick daughter. And this is the construction worker with the injured leg. I did it? <gasps> Gasp! Me? Well, I would never! Mm -mm. What? What's my... What's my reason? Hmm? <laughs> sure, Blue Wolf. Sure. Dive right in the blanket fort. Not a problem. Of course you can. Hmm. Well... He needed money. I 
but he did it though. He was. Oh no! After shipping, I just did it. I just shipped. Because it was fun, that was my reason? Well, I mean. Uh. Well, not murder, but. That. That robbing a bank, I mean, all that loot. All that loot. All that loot! <laughs> Chat did it. Well. <laughs> um. Everyone is Kayan. Hi. Hello. I don't believe you did it. If I do that, then. But if I do this. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? <clears throat> he has a large debt. Why can't they be both? Why can't it be all of them? Nobody did it! <sighs> you forgot to tag the person you're talking to in the message, what? Oh, sorry, I'm reading things again. I shouldn't be reading, probably. Ah! Just test out the, um, the reply functions, please. So I can get used to it. <laughs> Did I miss something? When did he say he he was teaching electricity? When did he say that? I really want to go with this guy. Was capable, definitely capable. He works for there. Draws it of work. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do this because the thing is, if I if I condemn him. He can't take care of his daughter, and then his daughter will die and be all alone. Either or. And I don't like the rude guy. I need to look at the belongings again. <sighs> oh, Ricardozo. I, I missed that. Okay, so... <laughs> I know, Provibus. It's fine. It's just, I wanna... I, I can't make up my mind. That is the thing. I wanna make up my mind. And then it's difficult. Because they all have... Reasons. Good reasons. To be involved in this. And I still... I'm still saying it's all of them. Hmm. 
But again, this is this is a scary guy. He says he's reformed. Well, I, I want to believe that. But then he has the electrical gloves and the cigarettes. Which is a popular brand. But... Hmm, is there a way to condemn them all? I don't think so. I'm looking for that though. But I think it's just one suspect. And then he has... Oh, and also he has a big debt at the... Um, at the bank. But he needs money for his daughter. <sighs> this time, I don't know. I, I would guess all three. I would seriously guess all three. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Chat, what have you to say? What do you have to say? Hmm. You want him definitely to be guilty. He has all the skills and the motives. Uh, I don't know. Try all three, but I can't. Exactly, Dan Valley. We do not save scum. We just have different timelines. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Maybe do it. What? What's happening? Bye. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. This is, this is, I think this is the most difficult one yet. Hmm. I'm having trouble with this. I'm just trying to... three of them. Trying also to read to read chat to see if there's any good suggestions, <laughs> but I think I have to stick with this because I think I have to stick with this. My suggestion is very good, but did you say Kershdesu? That was what. <laughs> I hate this option and that's probably why it's right. Because if we do this, then we're gonna leave his daughter all alone. And she's not gonna have the care that she needs. And I hate that option, so it's probably correct. Uh, oh no. Also, he hit a police officer and he would no. So it's a dangerous criminal who not only robbed the bank but also killed his name was in prison. So his daughter says he obviously felt forced to rob the bank as he did in order to reach him them go and save his daughter's life. <gasps> oh no, then we have to absolve him. No, that's not what I said, by bye bye. That's not what I said. If you hate someone, then it's probably the right one. This is not what I said. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go with Absolve then. Clickety-diggy! Oh. Oh. 
bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mr. Butcher. Shh. She's finally asleep. I would go. I knew you'd return. You should go to Stockholm with your daughter. You will save her. I've made my decision. Leave now. <gasps> you understand? I was forced to do all this. Perhaps you were. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye. Oh, I see. Oh. I actually like that. I actually really, really like that. Just go. Take your daughter. I mean, you murdered people, but go. No, no, I'm not. I'm not the police. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm letting him go. I'm accepting this. <laughs> he has to save his daughter. I'm not. No. I know he's a criminal, but he was forced to. He's just saving his daughter, and they were all gang members anyway. Just, no, Chad. I'm doing this. No, no. I don't want to jail him. Please, no. Don't make me do this. <laughs> I'm doing this. Ha ha! He's free! <laughs>